Today, I gave the world a flower. What's your gift? Well, it wasn't really today and it's not really a flower, but I did achieve two things that I've wanted to for a long time. The first is that I've wanted to have a reason to run a computer in my house 24 seven. And the second is that I've wanted to create something beautiful. See, this story starts about a year ago when I discovered an AI image generation service called Midjourney. At the time, Midjourney offered a free trial, so I decided to try it out. You just have to type some things into a Discord server and it will generate an image of the things that you request. So first I typed in some song lyrics and it gave me these pictures of the ocean. Then I typed in that I want some advertising ideas for an energy drink that I'd like to create, and it came up with something pretty good. But I found that the real fun was watching what other people create. The results from their prompts were visually stunning. These people knew what to type into Midjourney so that it would create something beautiful. They had tips and tricks like being hyper-specific about the thing they wanted to see and its style. But the thing that I found fascinating was the sheer creativity of the things they came up with. They came up with things so off the wall that it felt like you could see into their thoughts. Like this person wondering what it would look like if a capybara was a Jedi from Star Wars. Or this image of a cat dressed as a turtle catching a fish. Or these images of cats sporting streetwear. But the problem was, on Discord, where people create images with Midjourney, it's really hard to track everything that's being created. You have to scroll up and down and things disappear suddenly, and you have to monitor several channels if you wanna see everything that everybody's creating. So I got the idea for a live stream. It could run 24 hours a day, like the famous lo-fi hip hop beats, but instead of just playing music, it would show the latest images being generated by Midjourney. I could show the prompts so you know what is creating an image, and it could show the image as it generates. Thus was born a project called Pixel Dry, something that I dreamed would be more interesting than watching paint dry. I did some tests to see if the idea would work, and I found out that it wouldn't be that hard. So I hacked together a prototype, and it ran on this channel for almost seven days before it became unstable and crashed. I gave up on the idea for about a year because life happens and not everything is about programming projects, AI, and the internet. But then a couple months ago, the idea popped back into my mind and I couldn't stop thinking about finishing this project. So I rewrote the code from scratch to be super reliable. Then I released the code to GitLab and GitHub so that anybody can read it and learn from it. And you could even create something similar yourself. Then I installed the software to an old laptop that I have running in the back of my closet here. And I hooked it up to a new YouTube channel. It's been running continuously for the last three months without a crash. You should check it out. It's called Pixel Dry. I think it's really interesting to watch. I've seen things that are beautiful, strange, surprising, and funny. And I think I've learned a lot about prompt engineering. I've even put it on the TV at a friend's house and we watched and commented on the images that were created as we talked and hung out. So if you'd like to learn more about this project or any of the other computery stuff that I do, make sure to hit like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos because it's really important for me to know that this is the kind of stuff that you find interesting and the kinds of projects that I should continue investing in. But more importantly, I want to leave you with a declaration and a question. And that is that today I gave the world a flower. What's your gift?